Kibbutz, we're lost without sincerity, so they have to worship him. Yani kama yurid, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And as the Prophet Muhammad said, them, taught them. So they, had, they have to study the aqidah. So whoever said that Tawheed was not first in the teaching is wrong. It's wrong. This is in support of what he already has. It strengthens him and it shows him the difficulty of being led astray by those who don't have the proper aqidah. Why should they worship at the grave? Why should he ever believe that any human being was ever a partner to Allah? As well? His study of Tawheed would do this for him and other things. Um, um Abdullah al Wadi'iyah, the daughter of Sheikh, uh, Sheikh, uh, Sheikh Mukbil, in her advice to parents, she said that when speaking about Allah, Azawajal, Habibah Allah, she said when speaking to Allah about Allah, she said you should do this. In the finger. Talking to the child, it's Allah. So the small child gets the perspective that Allah Azawajal is about. Talking, point. To the child, point. So the proper perspective is always there. It is known that the human being has a number of capacities. There's the physical capacity of the human body. Um, some societies focus mainly on it. So we have the, the place called the gymnasium. You ever heard of it? <laughs> the gymnasium, right? Where well, the focus is the physical body. Now, what, is, what does gymnasium mean? What does it mean? Who got a smartphone? Is, is it smart this morning? <laughs> gymnasium. Gymnasium. Please. Someone. Open their dictionary and look at the word look at the word gymnasium. Because we say we call it it's a, it's a gym, but it has a it has a connection to the physical body. <clears throat> it's concerned with the physical world of sensory uh, perception. Therefore, the ability is limited. Then there's a mental capacity. The intellect has a wider range than the body, but it's also limited by what the mind can process in time and space, what it can think about. It's also limited by the beginning and ending of things. But the human capacity that is exempt from these restrictions is the soul. It is able to communicate with the one who is forever, Allah, in a way not restricted by the body or the mind. The methodology of the cultivation, the tarbiyah of the soul is that it's always connected to Allah at every moment. That's what saves it. It's always connected to Allah, as well. Therefore, it is aware that Allah is watching when it is alone, sitting among friends, reading or writing. It's conscious. You have it yet? Yeah. What does it mean? Uh, the noun, athletic facility equipped for sports or physical training or... Um a school for students intermediate between elementary school and college, usually grades 9 to 12. I'm not sure if that's the... Pro- etymology. I have, I have a, the etymology. I it came from a Greek word, uh, gymnasium, which means to exercise naked. Thank you. <laughs> Notice the Olympics is going back to it. The suits are getting... See the, see the cycle of shit? See it? Comes from the Greek. All the Olympic events were done without Siab, and they're slowly going back to it. Because that's where it really comes from. That's what it really is. That's where it's going. But be careful. We have to know. You should know who doesn't know Jahiliya is liable to do what? Lose his bonds of Islam one bond at a time. He doesn't know what the people are doing. When they're lighting the Olympic flame, who are they lighting it to? Who are they lighting it to? It's dedicated. Who are they dedicating it to? Greek God. <laughs> the Greek God. Uh, is it? Uh, I think it's Zeus. Or is it Zeus. He's, he was the Greek one. Zeus. Zeus. Which later on became Dios. Which they don't became Dios. You recognize the word? No. Spanish speakers here? No Spanish speakers? Adios mio? No Spanish speakers here? Okay. And they don't became Dios. God. What they say is God. They call it Dios, which came from Zeus. It just changed. It went from Greek and went to Latin. And then it got eased into the English and became Dios. You never heard, you ever, you ever heard of Adios? You heard, you heard everybody's heard it. Adios! 
It means go with God. Or go with Zeus. And if you go with Zeus, you know where you're going. <laughs> Hello, <don't want> <laughs> Adios or adios? Adios. 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 Yeah, and, yeah we, we kind of slur it. There are different levels of Spanish too. <laughs> they like to. So we say adios. It's adi adios. Adios. Mm, the days of the week That's true. Tuesday. 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 Zeus Day. Tuesday is Zeus Day. Thank you. That's right. Thursday is Thor's Day. The God of Thunder. Thursday is Thor's Day. Saturday is Saturday. Saturn's Day. Saturn. Sunday was where the, was the, where the sun. Monday was it was the worship of the moon. moon. Monday is the worship of the moon. That's why in Spanish it's known as what? It's known as Monday is known as La Lunes. The lunar. From the lunar. The moon. All of it's correct. All, all of it's should have. Beginning to end. All of it. Beginning to end. Every single piece. Not, not one piece. Take the months. June. I know July. July is Julius Caesar. Augustus. August. Augustus Caesar. <laughs> I go to Janus for January. Another God. I know. All of it. All of it. We, uh, that's right. And, and, and check what that means. It's wajib. It's wajib for us to know the Muslim months because from the Muslim months and the years come ahkam. Ramadan is ahkam of Ramadan. Al Hijjah, the ahkam of Hajj. That Qadr Allah, if you have a divorce, she's supposed to go by what? Her, the, the lunar months, three of them. Now, we, we permit, we take ahkam, we take our zakat from what? The, the lunar year. The year passes on the money you pay the zakat. So we're supposed to know from them. Uh, I read a uh, festival of Sheikh Salah Hazan, I believe about. Um, you mentioned about wearing Nike clothing because the customer wants to get out of shirt and everything like that. Uh, mm. Nike the, means the guys of achievement. Yes. Um, do the, all the scholars hold his opinion? I don't know that. I don't know. I don't know. Mm. Uh, about that. It's the truth. <laughs> don't know. <laughs> Um, so you see, the physical body is really heavy in the in the uh, in the understanding of of human beings, and that's why we have to teach children about human life from Islam. We talked about it last night. Human life. We have to teach them about the about the, about the kohn, about the creation, about the universe. It has to come from Islam, and also about all life. What life is for? It has to come from Islam. If you're doing the tarbiyah of children. It has to come from that. It can't have a mixture. If it's a mixture, it can be led, it can be led astray. The servant would, would not do anything, here again, because the soul is close to Allah, with them. the servant would not do anything that would come between him and Allah. Furthermore, in all of his affairs, his soul maintains a firm and continuous connection to Allah, ideally. This is the worship that was the reason that Allah created the jinn and humans. And I, Allah, created not the jinn and mankind, except that they should worship me. The worship that is mentioned in the verse is more than just performance of religious rituals such as salah, zakah, and fasting, Ramadan. Although that is the understanding of some people. Some people understand that those acts of worship are by themselves. Once they're done, then they are done. That's how some people understand them. The Sheikh said, a translation of which is, rather these acts of worship are the keys and foundations to many other acts of worship. They are the, they are the beginnings of development that bring other acts of worship. The Quran says, As-salat tanha anil fahsha wa munka. Kutiba alaykum as-siyamu kama kutiba ala ladina min qablikum la'alakum tattaqun. So one says it prevents fahsha wa munkar. If done, it comes to salat prevents fahsha wa munkar. You have the, the active ibadah, it builds the body. The person has become conscious, his soul is conscious, stops him from fahsha and munkar. Those people who pray, as the shaykh goes on, he says, as for the reality of worship, all, and the fruits of these acts is the continuous connection to Allah in all affairs, and circumstances without interruption, slackness, or offenses against Allah, after doing these acts of worship. The Sheikh said, unfortunately, translation of what he said, unfortunately, there are people whose estimation of these acts of worship 
are to temporarily hold fast to these acts of worship and show temporary devotion. Like those who display humility and submissiveness in their prostrations and bowing in their salah. However, when they finish, they are able to show enmity to the servants of Allah. After the salah is over, they're able to show enmity. They assault their honor. These people are able to display greed, stinginess, and deception after the salah. People who buy from them are not safe from their cheating, and neighbors are not safe from their harm. And then he mentioned, the tra I translated when he mentioned what the Messenger of Allah said, said, the Messenger of Allah said, by Allah, he is not a believer, by Allah, he is not a believer, by Allah, he is not a believer. When he was asked, who is that, Ya Rasulullah? He said, one whose neighbor does not feel safe from his evil. Qala Azawajal, inna salata tanha anil fahsha wa munkar. Where the salat prevents al fahsha great sins of every kind, unlawful sexual intimacy, and al munkar disbelief, polytheism, and every kind of evil wicked deed. The Messenger of Allah also said, said, translation of which is, Allah does not look at your faces and your wealth. He looks at your hearts and your deeds. The heart is the place where the Lord observes the servant and not his appearance and has, and has no value if taken by itself. Fruitful worship is the most important means to cultivate the soul and strengthen the relationship between people and their Lord. Not yet, I'm hoping, I'm, I'm hoping, <laughs> inshallah ta'ala, to get busy on it, inshallah ta'ala, and put it, to get busy with it, to put it inside of, because there's more, it's, it's called Tariqa to Tabiya with Islam, and it's, it's very good, it shows the actual path of cultivation, how, how Allah, his, the, the, the minhaj of Allah, as we in bringing people to the point where they'll worship him sincerely, where they'll worship him sincerely, and, he, and Sheikh talks about it. He talks about uh, the appearance of the floods and the appearance of drought and all the other things. I kind of skipped through those. I didn't go through those things. But he said that there, there are means in which it happens. As the companions went through it in the beginning, they went through a stage where at the end, when, it, when in, in Mecca, when that, was, when that stage for those was over, the Mahajirun, they were very strong in their Iman. They were very strong in their Iman. And in Medina also. And they were very strong in their iman because they went through the cultivating steps that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took them through and they were cultivated through it. And so this is for people to, to um, like he says in one part, he says that the, the person who's near to Allah is jail, you don't find that person complaining to the creation about what Allah has ordained for him. He doesn't bring a grievance to the creation about Allah. And some people do that. Our grievance 